Hello and welcome to this little video in which we are going to be seeing a very interesting novelty in the world of Fortinet. Starting with the Fort version 721, Fortinet introduces the permanent evaluation license. With which we are no longer going to have the limitation that every 15 days the image of our Fortigate devaluation no longer works. From now on we will be able to use our Fortigate team. Without any time restriction. Let's see on the Fortinet page that we are. First we are going to see this page where they talk about. The Fortnite evaluation licenses, where they clarify that in version 2721 introduce a new permanent license system, which requires an account in Fortify. What is exactly the same thing that they did with for the manager and with a strong analysis from the sports version is 6.4 in those products also from that version we no longer have the limitation of 15 days in the evaluation, but rather we have to register for an account. Free such evaluation equipment and from that moment on. Can we use them without any time limit if we see a little more in these characteristics? Let's see here the permanent license where we are going to find what are the limitations in this new evaluation model. The first thing they tell us is that we can only register one evaluation license for each Ford account and something interesting that they introduced in this new version is that from now on we will be able to use it. SSL to connect to our computers. So far until version 720, always speaking in the evaluation versions, we did not have SSL, therefore we connected by HTTP. Starting with this version we will be able to use SSL HTTPS on our test computers. The hardware restrictions remain the same, we can use only 1 PU and up to 2 GB of RAM for these equipment under evaluation. And, this is the weakest point, the saddest in this new one. It's the Madrid feeling that we can only use three interfaces, three fail policies and three routes and we can't do anything about it. We have to abide by working with these limitations, of course, we are not going to have any type or level of support and we are not going to be able to count on fortification services, basically we exchange the 15 days of the trailer license that we were used to before use. For a license that does not aspire to 15 days, but that will only allow us to use three interfaces, three policies, and three routes. On the other hand, in item 1 we saw that we can only use one evaluation license for each Fortik recount, but we can easily solve this, since Fort Iker accounts are free and we can register as many as we want. But even so, it is somewhat annoying to be working with multiple email accounts, therefore, we can use and help ourselves with the alias email form, where we have our normal email, but by adding a plus and followed by the plus, the name that you they want. This counts as a new email account, but in reality they are using the original account, the one that does not have the most, all the activations and emails will reach the original account, which in this case is servicios.fortinet at hotmail.com but you can take advantage of the use of the alias and create all the accounts you want using the same email for this little evaluation. I will be using this small image, this small laboratory that I will be leaving in the description of the video so that you can download it. And do the same practices and the same tests that I am going to be doing. As always we manage with admin, without a password, the first time we start it and we are forced to place a piece if they connect it exactly as I have it in an S3 in bridge mode the FortiGate will share the IP address of my local network, therefore I can make a Get System Interface STATIC Tax Pardon And here we see in port 1 what IP address interface one of my local network took. I am going to copy this and it is not necessary to manually enable access via HTTP because now it is already enabled. If we do a show system interface for one we see that HTTP is already there by default, but as I already told you in this new evaluation version we can also work with HTTPS. 
So we are going to log into our team for the first time. We keep it with the FortiGate credentials. And now we are going to find this window where it tells us that we have an invalid evaluation license. But now we have the option to load an acquired full license or enter evaluation mode. Here we repeat the limitations of this mode that only supports low encryption operations with a maximum of 11 PV hardware, 2 GB of RAM. Up to three interfaces, policy routes, and we don't have any kind of support. We use the account we created for this test. We click OK, here it asks us if. We are sure and that doing this will reboot the unit. We tell you that if this is going to connect over the internet, even our Fortify account will register and automatically restart the unit. Once the process is complete, the reboot begins once the computer finishes starting, we are achieved with the same credentials. And now we go to the normal configuration of a computer that is started for the first time. We accept all default values. We disabled this. And we already accessed our team. As you can see, it indicates that even so we are always with the evaluation license. But this time it does not indicate a date close to which it will expire. And if we access the licenses menu again the reminder of the limitations of the evaluation license, but nothing else. There is no longer a deadline until which we can use the equipment and if we go to our Fortify account and refresh. Now we are going to find that we have a team. We can even see and compare. What exactly is it? The same serial number SD7. Low states. Does SDP feel? They match perfectly. Something that is very interesting to take into account when registering a FortiGate in our Fort Iker account is that we are going to have access to download the firmware that we would not be able to access otherwise when we currently have a device registered in our For the Cloud account. We can go to Support and access the firmware download where we can download any firmware we need. This site is inaccessible unless we have a team registered in our Fortinero for the cloud account. Therefore, when we register our Fortigate, even with its evaluation license, we gain the right to access this site and be able to download the firmware we need. We can even change this and access by Hatchpack, something that until now was impossible in the evaluation licenses. Of course, it will alert us that the certificate does not match this name, but it doesn't matter, we can now prove that we are accessing it safely. We are now going to see these restrictions that told us ad nauseum. For example, in network interface. We are going to find that we only have three interfaces. Will you say, can we add more in three guineas? But note that by default it already had 10 interfaces. I have 10 adapters. However, in the FortiGate we only see three, this is due to the limitation of the evaluation license. Yes, I want to bypass this restriction and create an Avalon for it, for example, we can try that. In other words, can you imagine the result? Violin 101, for example. Let's place it in the interface. For example, in the two. We see that it alerts us that we have already reached the maximum number of entries allowed, with which we cannot add even a villain. In the case of the polis, the same will happen. Let's create one. For example, the Internet Classic. For example, port 3 was our lawn and port 1 output. We enable all origins and all destinations all the time for all services. And now we just copy paste. Remember that this will not cause problems because when we paste it, it is disabled. We hit it again. So that this video is a little faster and notice that when we want to paste the fourth polizzi again we get an error and the same will happen with the roots. So if you want to work on this version that does not expire,
They have to do tests in which these limitations do not represent any problem for them as long as they stay in three police three routes. And three interfaces, reach them is a good way to test. If not, if they need more interfaces, more police officers and more routes, they will have to go back to version 720 or any of the six Fortis family, where we have the well-known limitation of 15 days, even if we now go to the command line. Let's put ourselves. And we do a get system status. Now we are going to see what we have, the valid license and we no longer have the date that we had before, as well as the same expiration date that was shown in the graphical interface. We always saw it here on the command line as well. Something that no longer appears. In short, it is an interesting update, something new in the world of Fortinet. And, as I was telling you, depending on how much you want to test, it may or may not work for you. The interesting thing about this new licensing scheme is that by now having Hatchpack access and Excel enabled, we can finally test SSL VPN on a Fortinet computer with an evaluation license, something that we had never done in previous versions and in my courses. Unable to do in the lab due to lack of SSL. But from this new version, despite the limitations of the interfaces and policies, we can do independent tests. And play around with the SSL VPN. And this would be all for this little video, I hope you have found it interesting and that you are encouraged to try it. As I was telling you, I am going to leave this laboratory uploaded and you can download it from the link in the video description. If you liked the video and want to learn more about the world of Fortinet, in the description you can access my profile on YouTube, where you will find several courses that may be useful and attractive. Do not forget to like the video if you like it and subscribe to the channel to receive more videos like this. Thank you very much and see you in the next video.